Jones. So the Jazz have the first, first possession. Hayward tosses it over the top to Lyles. He'll jump it. That's a nice start for the rookie out of Kentucky, the 12th overall. Hood looks for a cutter, leaves it for Faves. Nelson comes around, tries to pick his pocket. Favors able to pick it up. Five on the shot clock. Hayward wide open three. Rainbow shot. Got it. Uh -huh. Good thing Derek was able to come. You know, I hate to see a guy get off to such a good start. Derek just stays with it, finally comes up with it. Now look at the deep. They have three guys around Derek Favors, which means someone is open. Only attempted. Now he's attempted 11, making six of them. So he's just learned something about him. Lyles on a quick jump shot, rattles home. Finish at the rim all the time. Little eight-footer, and he realized, <laughs> I need to put this up. Harris wants a three ball, kicks out hard. Nice rebound. Here three comes Hayward over the top to Trey. One bounce inside. Hood spins. Well, they re-signed a lot of players, Gallinari being one of them. He's making 14 million a year, and a three drops again. And Harris was was uh, was between him, and then he just knocks down the jump shot. Now follow the shot. Right Look where that ball is Beautiful. up in the air, and you could tell it didn't touch the rim. Hayward went baseline, shut down, tries it again, right to left hand, spin move, beautiful, beautiful, got, got the rim and in. That's one of the most aggressive buckets I've seen Hayward hit in a long time. Well, great footwork there as well. Good fouls Nelson baseline before the shot. That's two on Rodney, and we've got a timeout. Booner, look at this move, playing with Gallinari. Spins off the pressure, and it's a 10-point lead for Utah. That's his fourth of the first half. Hayward goes back to work in traffic, dumps it down, put it up, the guy does. Count it, and Faze will shoot a free throw. Battling for that seven or eight spot in the, in the West in a playoff scenario. Right now, Timber has a one-half game lead on the Jazz. Yeah, and that's largely because of the Jazz losing four in a row and the Denver Nuggets winning three. That's how tight it could be. Houston's up there, Memphis. I mean, 500 may, that'll get you in, and maybe a sub-500 sub season may get you in as well in the West, which is a real flip from a couple of years ago where it was the Eastern Conference that struggled, and now they've seemed to have turned the page. Well, I'll tell you what, Craig Love, just the 10 teams in the Eastern Conference are over 500. Six free throw shooter. 9-2 run by Denver. They lead by five, their largest advantage of the game. Another high arcing shot, and down it goes. Nice bucket. Hey, that breaks the tie, 73-72. We got a whistle. Nice job here by Gordon. And if I saw things right, I mean, he started up the, like he was going to go off the screen. Then he stopped and caused Barton to run up his backside. And, and Barton put his hands on him, and now he's going to go to the free throw line. Yeah, free throws the rest of the way. Hayward on his toes, 14. Five here in the third. Had seven in the first quarter. Points in the paint. 38 points for the Nuggets. The Jazz lead. The other way. Foy right on the hip of, of Trey. Booker back to Hayward. All day to shoot the three. Boom. And he has been hot from the start. Together, squares the shoulder. Booker decides, hey, you got a better shot than I do. And Gordon just takes his time, knocks down the three. That's his third. <laughs> My goodness, banging his Jokic. Barton sets his feet for three. That one falls off the rim. Who's in that crowd? But it's the 6'10 big man with seven. It's a four-point Denver lead, trying to win their fourth in a row. Hayward answers. Big three ball from the corner. And his 11th 20-plus game. The new ones, too. Going to be raining money. Don't like the old one. No. Got to be Chris. Good okay. turnover. I'd open. Nope. Fell off to the left. You got to Yeah, you. 88-86. Nelson has the ball taken down. He slapped it away. Oh, and Booker pushes for Reed. Off we go to the races. And Hayward lays in two. Losing streak. Favors at the free throw line. Hands it off to Hayward. Spinning. Kick out. Book. Three ball. Bang! Oh, 
control the book on a rainbow shot from the quarter. Why not? At six foot eight, take your time, you can get a good shot. Hey, we're talking oh, yes. slides, oh. and he'll be at the line. That ball fell off the back of the rim. He, he, this time he caught it and put it on the floor right away. That's four fouls on Jameer Nelson. Now you can see he catches it now and puts it on the floor right away. Gets to the free throw line for a couple of free throws. And Booner, this is something the Jazz could not do Wednesday night against New Orleans. Hayward bounces off the first. That's his first miss from the line tonight. Jazz 77% as a team. I just, I'd like to see him stay a little more balanced. You know, you see him he falling over the free throw line. I, mean, I guess if you're going to go one way or the other, you'd rather be going toward the basket, not away from it. See how balanced he was there? Hayward clutch tonight with 24. Puts the ball on the floor against Harris. He'll rumble inside and scores. Oh, that's Hayward, baby. That may be the most aggressive, aggressive game we've seen him play. Yeah, that, that's what you want to see in the closing seconds, even if you're trying to, to increase your lead or win a basketball game. Some, some, a lot of players now selling for jump shots. You see, he has the shoulder and the advantage over, over uh, Harris, and he just doesn't give it up. He just continues on to the basket and ends up giving the Jazz now an eight-point lead. And, Rod, the, the question to talk all week is that who's the closer on this team? Mm -hmm. I think you'll agree it should be that man. It should be him. Gordon Hayward. It should be him. I, I think between him 